Hey, this is Jason, and I get a lot of questions about food, what I bring on hunts, how much, and I want to take you through how I pack my food bags. I'm leaving tomorrow for a 12-day Yukon doll sheep hunt up with Bonnet Plume, and I'm going to take you through how I pack my bags and how I look at food for a hunt and plan around it. And I'm looking for calories per ounce in foods that will average out at about 120 to 130 calories per ounce and over 50% fat content, and that's what I've achieved here with this menu. So I'm going to I'd like to show you how I pack my bags. I set up an assembly line and I will break down this food uh, per day to make sure that I have exactly what I need and more importantly really that I don't have more than I need. And typically guys will overpack on what they need for food because they're worried about getting hungry. And I, uh, I use Ziploc bags, a couple different sizes to, uh, to create my food bags. I like these Ziploc uh, court bags with a zipper on top. And uh, in this menu for this trip, I've got uh, uh, beef jerky that, that will go in my food bag, and I'll take about an ounce, and I weigh all this out, make sure I've got exactly what I need, but that's roughly about an ounce of jerky that'll go in my food bag. Fritos are really high in calories per ounce, and it's nice to get some salt in your system as well, and just something different than like uh, you know nutrition type of bars. Cheese is a great addition um, to add to your Food bag. What I like about cheese is it's you know it's a basic it's it's a dairy product so it helps coat your stomach and helps uh, deal with some of the higher sugar content that you'll have in, in your food bag. Almonds are a great food source for hunts. They have the highest naturally have the highest calorie per ounce you, uh, you can have and lots of fat. I like uh, Snickers bars and Reese's peanut butter cups. Again, this is kind of your choice on what you like on on candy bars, but these are nice for uh, because they have high calories per ounce and they'll give you some energy. I'll bring a, a Cliff bar. These are the new uh, nut butter filled energy bars by Cliff. I like these. I've been using those this off season. I like the way they taste. The Nature Valley biscuits. These have a crazy high calorie per ounce and lots of fat. Natural fig bar. Again, just another type of, of food source that I've been using this year in, in, in training. And then uh, individual Skippy's peanut butter packets and these are great because they you can pack uh, peanut butter in a individual serving and have one per day and then I'll make a sandwich out of that with uh, a bagel thin and this is what I will pack in my pack this is my lunch early morning sack lunch and late afternoon food while I'm out in the mountain and then I'll bring a mountain house dinner uh, for every single night and a breakfast skillet pro pack. And I used to use, or used to eat oatmeal or breakfast bar. And I found that the, by taking the time to boil water and eating an actual breakfast, mountain house breakfast with eggs, this one has potatoes and some bacon in it, that it stays with you a lot longer and you're not getting hungry as soon in the mid morning and let you, let you uh, eat less throughout the day and feel better. And so that's a day's worth of food right there. It weighs just under uh, two pounds. It's uh, one pound, 15 ounces, 30 ounces of food essentially. And that's what I will bring ev for every day that I'm hunting. So I'll have 12 of these in my pack. It'll get me to just over, uh, just under about, uh, just under 24 pounds, about 23 pounds of food. And in addition to that, I will bring a Hydrate and Recover by Wilderness Athlete. And I'll drink one of these every night before I go to bed get those electrolytes back into my system. And then I also bring uh, Starbucks V and I'll bring two packs of those for every morning. And that's my, my morning coffee. And that's it. I mean, this is all I'm bringing uh, per day for a 12 day sheep hunt. And just to give you some totals on the calories and calories per ounce. So we're at a total of 4,140 calories for the day, including the mountain house and my uh, food bag for the day. And we're at over 2,400 calories in fat, so over 50% fat. So that's really, really good. This is the highest calorie per ounce and highest fat content food bag I've put together to date. And getting away from the sugars and more into the fats is a good thing. It'll burn longer and sustain you longer. All right, so I've got all my food bags packed. I've got all my mountain house laid out. Now I'm going to pack it. And what I'm going to do for this trip, because we're going to be boning out our sheep, is to use our our bone out meat bags, the, uh, the largest size that we make, and use that to pack my food. When we pack the meat out, I can empty the food and then use these, these for hauling the meat so you get a, a, 
uh, a piece of equipment that's that has multiple uses. So I'm going to now go ahead and pack my uh, mountain house and all my food in these, and we'll throw them on the scale and make sure that uh, everything's weighing in where it should. Can't forget the coffee. So we're right at 20 pounds, which is exactly what I planned on bringing. Uh, so that gives us um, basically two pounds of food a day and will get us uh, about 4,000 calories, 4,400 calories a day to eat. And this is what I'll need for 10 days of hunting.